Welcome to Specify. This video will demonstrate how to edit a system pick list. So what's a system pick list? Well, there are a number of fields in Specify that have a set number of values. Preparation type is a good example. You know that a specimen is always prepared in one of a few ways. So it's nice to have a pick list or what some people think of as a drop down list on a form so you can simply choose the preparation rather than always typing it in. Specify ships with pick lists already created and included on the forms and these are called the system pick lists. Then Specify includes a tool for editing the choices that are in those pick lists. You may be wondering if you can create your own pick lists. Yes you can. These are called user defined pick lists and I'm not going to cover those in this video, but I do want to give you a word of caution. When you create that new pick list, it will not automatically appear on your form. Your form must be exported, edited in XML to include the new pick list, and then re-imported into Specify. Then you can go in and format your field for that pick list. If you format a field for a new pick list before the form itself is edited, you will have system and database errors. So please do not do that. Now back to system pick list. Let's take a look at what I am talking about. So I'm going to open a form by clicking on the data button in the taskbar and then clicking collection object in the sidebar. And once that form opens, I'm going to scroll down to collection object attribute. And then I'm going to hit the plus button to activate that subform. And I can tell by the down arrow or expand button on that field that both sex and stage are pick lists. So I click that expand button and then I can see my list. So I want to edit this list to include juvenile because I deleted it before making the video so that I can use it as an example. So I need to open the system pick list editor. I do that by clicking system on the main menu, then clicking system setup and configuration. Then I simply click pick list editor on the sidebar. Once my pick list editor opens, I'm going to use the system pick list at the top and I'm going to scroll down and find stage. So I'm going to click that and then I'm going to click the edit button. And when my next editor pops up, I see that I can change the name and I can change it from read only to typeable. I'm going to cover that in a minute, so bear with me. I simply want to add juvenile right now. So I'm going to go down to my pick list items and I'm going to hit add or the plus key. And then I'm going to type in juvenile in the title exactly how I want it to appear in my pick list on the form. And then for value, I'm going to type in something short. And this is what is kept in the database itself. And then I'm going to say save and I'm going to close the editor. Now let's go back into the collection object form and view that change. You may notice that the taskbar is disabled or grayed out and I don't have a tab for my collection object form. There are certain tools in Specify that require the forms closed and this is one of them. So specify close that form for me before opening configuration. If I had a change that I had not saved, I would have been prompted before specify closed it. I need to close configuration before I can go ahead and open my form. So I'm going to hit the red X and then I'm going to open the form by first clicking the data button and then clicking collection object in the sidebar. And then I'm going to use my scroll bar to find collection object attribute.
and once again click the plus to enable that subform. And then I'm going to look at stage and there's juvenile right there included in that pick list. Now let's go in and see how a typable pick list looks. I'm going to again open my editor for my system pick list by clicking on system, system setup and configuration, and then clicking pick list editor in the sidebar. Once that opens, I'm going to find stage in the system pick list list and then hit the edit button. And this time I am going to click or ch uncheck the read only box. You probably notice that size limit becomes enabled once I do that. There is a size limit to the number of choices in the pick list. This is set by you. Right now it's at nine because there are nine choices. Obviously if I want to type more, I need to change this. So I can either type in my number or hit that up and down arrow. Then I'm going to save this and close. And once again, open the form. I'm going to scroll down again and enable collection object attribute. And now when we look at the stage field on the collection object form, it is noticeably different than the sex field because I can type into it. I'm going to type in test and then type the enter key. And then I want to show you that it has been added to the pick list by clicking on the expand button. And there it is in my list. This concludes the video for editing a system pick list in Specify. I thank you for watching.